Now, in the news of the day, I do want to point out, I, I made a Facebook post yesterday because uh, my buddy, family friend, uh, Joe O'Toole, great family. They own uh, Joyce's Restaurant and Tavern right here in uh, Staten Island, New York. They were one of the parties on a lawsuit against the mayor and the governor to reopen restaurants. And um, just two days after they filed their lawsuit, um, on 9-11... They were hosting a fundraiser for Stephen Siller Tunnel to Towers organization. And um, the mayor or the governor's Gestapo in the sheriff's office came in and shut them down on 9-11 while raising money for 9-11 causes. But the sheriff came in and slammed them. And you know why that happened? Because they were on the lawsuit. And the mayor knows in socialist countries, like, you know, uh, Mayor Bill de Blasio uh, said the Sandinistas were fine people, okay? So the socialistas, um, you bring a lawsuit against them, seek relief from the judicial branch, and what happens is they send their goon squad down to your restaurant and shut you down. So that's what happened here. Um, and I took to Facebook and wondered, I don't know, you know, for those of you around the country, okay, um, we have one mayor for New York City, but there are five counties that make up New York City. And um, we have what are called borough presidents here, okay? So out of the five counties in New York, there's only one of the five borough presidents who's a Republican right here in Staten Island. His name is James Otto. He's been a civil servant, uh, serving the people of Staten Island in many capacities for many years, doing a great job. And he was always outspoken. And he was the minority speaker in, in the New York City Council. And he took on every mayor we ever knew. And he fought for all kinds of things. And now, when I see my friends in the restaurant business holding a press conference across the street from his office at the Supreme Courthouse, and I don't see the borough president come sauntering over to stand with his constituents, I get worried. And I start wondering, well, what happened to this guy? He used to be a big advocate. This is the guy who got aluminum badge banned. Okay, because he thought they were... Unfair, unsafe for children. He fought for years to eliminate aluminum bats. Okay? For whatever that's worth. He thought it was worthwhile. I'll take it. Um, and fought for so many other causes. I mean, you know, uh, he was a big, you know, proponent of, you know, shutting down overdevelopment and went out there and fought. At one point in life, you know, he referred to my father as a slumlord. Um, when my father had a whole bunch of rentals in a neighborhood where he used to work. So he and I have been at it for years, but I always respected his tenacity and his determination. And now I see um, his presence is much like, to me, Joe Biden, because our borough president, the one Republican out of the five, doesn't come out and stand up for the business owners of Staten Island and take on the mayor like he's taken on so many mayors. So I put it on Facebook and I posited a question, why? And what's happened to our borough president? And you know what? The guy called me up. I give him credit for addressing it one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I just put some facts out there and asked a question. Called me up apoplectic, going crazy, okay? And I'm, I'm really considering playing the recording of the things he was saying to me. I'm really thinking about it, but I do respect his public service. So I, I don't want to put him out there. Um, but let's just say he was not happy with me, okay? And we share a T for two on this one because I am not happy with our leadership. And you know, there's great guys like Andrew Lanza. Um, I think he has a 72% favorability here in Staten Island. He's our state senator. Um, and he's going to get himself in a little hot water if he comes out for restaurant owners and goes against Governor Cuomo because he's got to deal with Cuomo every day. But Andrew Lanza is out there speaking up for the people. Okay? And I know Andrew Lanza is irate that the sheriff would come in and shut down a local restaurant who just sued the mayor on 9-11. And he's doing stuff about it. So how about this? Um, if I put something on Facebook or social media to instigate the, the, the thought process of the greater populace here, um, if I say something that isn't true, bash me. I'm out there all the time. I put myself out there. Um, I'm willing to take it. I got thick skin, okay? I got more skeletons in my closet than a whole cemetery if you want to go start throwing them out there. And I'm prepared for it. So don't call me one-on-one -on -one for putting facts out there. That's not what we're all about. That's not what the First Amendment is about. 
okay? So I'm opting at this point to keep our conversation private. Um, and I'm hoping that, and I didn't curse at the BP, I didn't call him out personally and say that he's a no good so and so. Um, I said to him, where are you? Why aren't you out there? You were always our guy. How come you're not? Okay? And, you know, he was talking to me about all the work he's doing behind the scenes, and he's got a lot of potholes filled, and he fought for the seawall in Midland Beach where my family came from, and we need all that stuff. That's all great. But right now, um, whether it's ceremonial or not, the people of Staten Island elected this guy to be our borough president, and the people of New York City should see the one Republican in New York City out there with his constituents standing up to the mayor and saying we got to save our business owners lives and not start talking to us about some science because we ain't scientists okay so anyway that's my rant on that locally uh, if it makes sense check out my Facebook post you'll understand what's happening and um, all's fair in love and war and uh, if you're in the public domain and you can't take a little public discourse um, then maybe you like Larry Holmes at the end of his career when Mike Tyson knocked him out cold. Who knows? Maybe Jim Otto's a shot fighter and he's just playing out the string till 2021 and then he'll go off into the private sector somewhere. But he was once a great fighter against aluminum bats. Um, and you know what usually comes with bats? Balls. And I think he's lost his. We'll take a quick break and come back right after this.